So up everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ to want to focus in on the St. Louis Blues losing Jaden Schwartz for uh, about 12 weeks. So, you know, three months we're looking at uh, end of January, beginning of February return for the former Colorado College sniper. Um, you know, the Blues have already lost Paul Stassi. You know, so University of Denver and Colorado College have already gone down. You know, two pretty big rivals in the old WCHA. That, that's relevant, but worth bringing up. Um, you know, definitely a huge loss of a team. You know, you look at Schwartz's creativity, you know, he's, I, I think, one of the more underrated players in the NHL. And, uh, you know, can definitely create only four assists and seven games in the season. But that's, you know, semantics. You, you know what he can do. Um, and, you know, you, you see this creativity. I mean, it's two full, it's two full seasons in the NHL, uh, 25 and 28 goals. So, uh, 63 points last year, you know, really an integral part of the Blues' success that, you know, for as good as guys like Tarasenko a lot, you know, it's, it's really a, a team built upon depth and, uh, you know, having guys throughout the lineup contribute. So losing such an important contributor is, um, you know, definitely a huge blow to the team. But, you know, as Ken Hitchcock said, this is a time for guys like Dimitri Jackson, Ty Ratty, um, you know, Lutera to really, Lutera's actually having a great year, but the younger guys, um, you know, to really step up and, uh, you know, show what they can do. You know, this is an opportunity for uh, the aforementioned players, and, you know, on a deep team like St. Louis, you're not going to give, you're not going to get a ton of opportunities for, you know, the, the younger players, obviously, enough that he's out injured to play and, and to, um, you know, get these offensive roles on a veteran Latin team that has Stanley Cup aspirations. So, you know, you, you've got to be able to uh, to step up and, and do your thing. And I think, you know, St. Louis has confidence in their younger players. I think that's, you know, a foregone conclusion. I mean, otherwise, you know, they'd be free. They'd make a freak panic trade right now. I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to give, you know, youth a chance to shine. And, you know, it's going to make or break. You know, if they don't succeed, you know, then, then you're looking trade. Um, but if they do, you get a whole new dynamic for when, you know, Stastny and uh, and Schwartz come back. Like, all right, you know, not only do we have these, you know, really, really good veterans, but we have, you know, these amazing youngsters that we can plug in and get youthful enthusiasm, youthful legs in the lineup, you know, whenever. So, and, you know, that they, they've played in those situations. You know, they've been seasoned with, uh, you know, top six this time and, you know, familiar with, you know, getting those minutes. It's, it's not... You see, too, like in the NFL's perfect example where Bill Belichick gets everyone's snaps. The great Bill Belichick. So if someone goes down and they, you know they've got to play, they're not pissing down their leg when they get on the field. And I think that's going to be a similar thing here with you know Raddy and you know uh, Jackson, where you know they, they've got NHL experience, obviously. But, you know, giving them the opportunity to be, you know, big-time contributors early in the season, if they're called upon later down the stretch when the game really matter, they won't be in over their head and out of their element. So, you know, I'm trying to find the silver lining here for Blues fans, and uh, I think that's, you know, as close to close to it as you'll get. I'd love to see uh, Barbashev up at some point, though. Uh, he's in the uh, AHL. He's our, uh, one of the topics a year or two ago. So, uh, again, as a fan of him, I'd love to see him up in the show. But you know, it's kind of looking at who else they have in the AHL that's you know worthy of a call up. Um, but yeah, Barber's just five points in five games. He's a teenager in the AHL, so you might see him uh, at some point. We'll see how it all shakes up. Anyway, that's our episode of the Power Play with CJ on the St. Louis Blues losing Jaden Schwartz. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.